Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix a Play Store can't download something went wrong. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So for us to fix this issue, the first thing that we could do here is to just basically try rebooting your device. So sometimes re restarting your device is actually the solution for some things. So in this case, just press on hold into your power button and from here just choose the uh, reboot option there. Now, once you've done that and it doesn't fix your issue, then we have a few things that we want to check as well. So one of those things that we want to check is our internet connection. So if your internet connection is not stable or your internet connection is unstable, then you'll probably receive the issue that your Play Store can download something. So in this case, make sure that your internet is actually stable. Maybe try connecting to a different source of internet and see if that solves your issue. Or in this case, you could go ahead and go to YouTube. If the video is not a buffering, then you are all good with that one. So if your internet is stable and you're still having this issue, then we have to check our space or the current space that we have on our device here. So in this case, let's go to our settings and let's go to about phone and we want to go to storage. Now, in this case, we want to make sure that we ex exactly have the correct storage that we want to install or basically the storage that we have to have for us to install the application that we want to install. So if you don't have enough storage, then most probably you will receive this issue. So make sure that you uninstall stuff or even delete some files that you have in your mobile device. And from then you could start installing your application itself. So this is just a bonus you could go ahead and go to storage space here and just click on free up storage it's going to give you suggestions on how you could actually free up space on your mobile device so here it's going to say clear trash faster you could go ahead and just click on add you can even clear out photos that is actually redundant and uh, duplicates of that you could also uninstall applications here that you don't frequently use as well so in here, we also have the option to clear cache into your device. And you could go ahead and just go ahead and see all the things that you could clear out here and making more, more room for the application that you want to install. Now, once you have enough space for you to install the application itself, but you're still having that issue where Play Store can't download. Well, the next thing that we could do here is we want to change a few things into our Play Store settings. So in this case, let's just go back on our homes, home screen here and we want to press and hold on Play Store icon there and you'll see the option that says App Info. Just click on that and we'll be redirected into the app information for Google Play Store. In here, what we need to do first is we want to click on Clear Data and from here, you want to click on clear cache and just click on OK. So what it does is actually going to clear out the temporary data that we have on our uh, Google Play Store here. So it means it's going to clear out any temporary data. So it's not that important. But yeah, once you clear your data, go ahead and see if that solves your issue. But if not, we're going to go ahead and go to the next level for this one, which is actually clearing out all the data for Google Play Store. In this case, it's just click on clear all data. And instead of uh, having the notification for clear cache or clear all data, it's going to immediately redirect us to delete all data here since we already clear out our cache. So in this case, just click on OK. It's going to clear out any data and any updates that you have on Google Play Store. It's going to be removed, but it's going to be reinstalled again once you've opened up Google Play Store. And you just need to re-log in again into your Google Play Store. And from there, see if that solves your issue. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.